Color has always been important to customers when it comes to picking a new car. And as with fashion, color trends change rapidly. Silver and white are still the top choices, but colors like yellow and even brown are making a comeback. Brown's a very intriguing color for us. It hasn't been seen in the automotive industry since the 80s. Brown had very negative connotations. It was earth, dirt, and mud. But since the explosion of coffee and the Starbucks effect is what the industry is calling it, Brown has returned with a vengeance. It's now more than a third of sales of all Buick Enclave. Of course, if this Buick Enclave's cocoa metallic finish were to fade, that would be like too much milk in your coffee. So manufacturers test their latest paint colors rigorously. Florida is the gold standard for testing paint for cars because we have high levels of sunshine, we have high temperatures, but we also have a high level of moisture, high humidity. Here at the DuPont Weathering Systems location near Miami, they not only test the effects of extreme weather on automotive paint, but also the adhesion properties of the paint's chemicals. Will it attract dirt, mold, or algae? If damaged, how easily will it rust or bubble? Important tests not only for color, but new paint properties are being developed quickly. Metallic flakes are being added. Low gloss matte finishes are being experimented with, as well as hue shifting pigments. As you move around the vehicle, hopefully you can see it goes from a green gray to a red gray. It's a very dramatic performance look. Hue shifting is a huge direction in our industry. All areas of product design are using it. You'll see it in cosmetics and cell phones. Motorola and Nokia are even using this look. When you think about a car as a fashion statement, as many of us now do, offering the right combination of color, hue, and gloss on a car's finish can make the difference. I'm Chris Hansen.